What's up my dudes, Valkyr, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the time I accidentally read a hentai, um, a manga, whatever you want to call it. It's a little bit break from the usual, it's a little bit of a funny story, and I'd like, I've shared it on stream quite a few times because I think it's really funny. But at the same time, I thought it might entertain you guys, give you guys a little bit of a break from all the Inazuma talk, because I know I'm going to keep making Inazuma videos. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a break from it because I don't want to overload you guys with Inazuma before the, uh, before the actual live stream. So funny story time. Um, basically whenever I was younger, I read, and I still do, I read a lot of manga, isekai, shonens, romance, etc. And I was reading this one, the way it started was this person, this guy just moved into, uh, an apartment. Okay. And in the apartment... He had a neighbor, he didn't really know her all too well, but he had a locket that a friend gave him whenever he was much, much younger. I think I'm remembering this right, I could be misremembering details as far as the plot goes, but the thing is, is him and his neighbor, while yes, they do chicka chicka shebang quite a bit, <laughs> they do, um, basically they have a very interesting development. They have they go through parts where they're like, are we just friends with benefits? Are we? Uh, are, are is there actually something here going on? And then they get up with other people. Then they go, no, I actually love them. They can come back, and it's this really interesting development. And you think of the girl as kind of like this uh, slutty girl the whole time. Then you go meet her uh, parents out in the country, and you're like, wow, she's actually like she's actually got some development to her. She has some depth. All in all, it's a really, really good story. It's a good book. I enjoyed it. Read it front to back. Loved the mood. Loved the manga. Loved it all. And now, how did I ever find out? I didn't even know it was hentai at the time. I'm just like, oh, wow, they bang a lot. Okay, whatever. Woo! But, you know, about a couple years ago, I was browsing a website. It starts with P, ends with hub. Just about everybody knows what it is. And I saw a title that matched the manga's title, and I clicked it, and then I started watching. And I realized at that point, what I, what I read many years ago, and one, and I really enjoyed the story, obviously, because I remembered it very vividly. I realized at that point, what I read many years ago was hentai. And that's not even the worst part of it all, okay? That's not even the worst part of it all. I was sitting there, watching the hentai, reminiscing, thinking back about, oh, this manga was really good. I was sitting there watching the hentai, looking at it, and noticing the animation quality, and I was like, you know what's really messed up about this? Is this animation is still better than 2016 Berserk and 7 Deadly Sins. I can't believe it. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for watching, as always. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about my story in the comment section below. Catch you guys later. Peace.